All right, students, here we have the breaded, bearded, breaded, the breaded marmoset. Here we go. You want to pour, is that the right pour? I think it is. You want to pour a slab of, yeah, two O's would be the other type of pour. Okay, there we go. Okay, you want to pour a slab of concrete with the following dimensions. It's seven inches by 9.5 feet by 8.5 yards. All right, so I give you the width. I got cut off the picture did, darn it. The width is in feet, the length is in yards, and the depth is in inches. Gross. We got to find the cubic feet. So to find the cubic feet, we have to take feet times feet times feet. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we got to convert you to feet, you to feet, and you to feet. It's actually not that hard at all. Okay, so I'm going to start with what I got. I got seven inches. If I were to convert that to feet, I would just divide by 12. There we go. That's now converted to inches just as a fraction. I'm going to leave it alone. Okay. 9.5 feet is already 9.5 feet. Here we go. All right, next thing I'm going to do, if I have 8.5 yards, I would have to take that times 3 to get the feet. So I'm going to go 8.5 times 3. There we go. So I've written out the conversions. I'm just not going to do them because I'm just going to multiply everything straight across. All right, so here we go. Let's try this. This should work. Okay, here we go. Clear out all the extra noise. Here we go. 7 twelfths. That is 7 inches. It's 7 of the 12 inches, so that's technically feet. And we have 9.5. Then we have 8.5 times 3. Boom, look at that. That's the feet, that's the feet, that's the feet. To make cubic feet, you need to go foot times foot times foot. So if you just rewrite them in terms of feet without having to simplify them, you can do it all in one swing. So hit it. We got 141.3. It says nearest tenth. Okay, cubic feet, 141.3. All right. To estimate the total price... Sorry, if you estimate the total price costing you $1,900, how much will you spend per cubic foot? Oh, okay, easy. Take you and then divide by you. So let's do that really quick. It's going to cost me $1,900. I divide by 141.3. We can figure out how much one cubic foot cost you to the nearest cent. 19 hundo divided by 141.3125. Now, what did I do here? Now, I rounded to 0.3, but I still want to use as many decimals as possible to get the most accurate answer to the nearest cent. So make sure, students, that technically what you should do, to be honest, if you want the most accurate, uh, well, this one's not too bad of a decimal, okay? You just kind of copy it. But if you actually want the prettiest, the most accurate, you would honestly just type all that out underneath there. But hey, this is good enough. But um, if it's not a pretty decimal, make sure you use several decimals because if you're going to the nearest cent, you might be off by several pennies if you round to the .3, okay? So, spoiler, the number you get here, please don't actually use it. Don't, don't change my mind. Don't actually use it. Use what you calculated. And again, use several decimal points. If you, get, wanna, if you wanna get to the nearest cent, you better be using more than just the tens place. So, there you go. Send it. Looks like it's going to be about 13 and 45 cents. Okay, so to the nearest cent, it's going to cost you about 13 dollars and 45 cents for a cubic foot of concrete. All right, cool. That was the breaded marmoset. Again, what do you do? I would put the inches over 12. I'd leave the feet as feet, and I would take the yards times three because technically what you're doing is you're taking a foot times a foot times a foot, and that's going to get you cubic feet. All right, that is it for this one. We'll see you on the next one.